think we got some gold bands here. Subscribe to the Storage Stacker channel for more awesome content, just like this. Here. I want to show you first, look at these two Roadmasters. This unit only cost me 80 bucks. Did you notice anything? A big, tall jewelry box. Oh wow, I think we got some gold bands here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah baby, a dog collar. We got some gold. Oh, there's a driver's license, you don't wanna see that. Oh yeah, what do we got going here? going with us today. Yeah, I think we definitely got one. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's marked. I can't see it. I can't see it plainly. Oh yeah. We scored. The next few items are very mundane, so I will help you get to the good part by speeding this up per stacker's request. You will want to watch all the way through to see a big golden surprise. Now you might ask yourself, what's in there, stacker? I don't know. Scrapping kit. Scrapbooking kit. Okay. It's a scrapbook kit. And this, a scrapbook kit. So they were into scrapbooking. That's right. Books. More books. Hardbacks. Goosebumps. Purse. Party favors. The fun stuff. Let's see what we got in the party favors. New product, gloss, ooh, ultimate gloss, and a Toshiba laptop, Intel Pentium, I don't know what system it's running, but we got to Toshiba. It's gonna be a good one, guys. Brand new bottle of $20 Curve Crush perfume. I think it might have been used a little bit. That makes more sense. Still got some good, good amount in there. Oh yeah, I think that's a Christmas tree. But how can you go wrong here, guys? This unit was 80 bucks and there's a pair of his and hers Roadmasters. Wow. So far, so good. Wow, this $80 unit's full of new stuff mixed with personal items. But here's this uh, really nice set of pullovers with the tags and the receipts. They paid $37 for these two things. Okay, and then we got a nice pair. These are my wife's size of uh, boots, 
The other one's in there somewhere. And here's a new pair of house slippers. And all this is just a bunch of new stuff. And what's this one? Uh, party favors, new stuff, mixed with uh, used. That's going to be a good unit, guys. Let's see. We're getting down there. Now we've got all these shoes. This is looking pretty good, guys. So tell me what you think down below in the comments. For 80 bucks, would you have bought this? It's looking good. This is unbelievable. I put it back in here, but my wife kept these tissues. They, this almost went in the garbage. Look what was laying in there. Look at this. I just checked it. 29 grams at 14 carats. Crap. I'll give you a total, but we got to check everything. Now, she hid this in these tissues. This almost went into the trash, but thank goodness my wife wanted these tissues. She was just pulling out some from the top and was going to use the rest because she likes these dispensers. Oh my God! No! I don't feel like it. I do what the f I want. That's right! So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there because it's so freaking free you won't believe it. It's beyond free. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I can't wait. And there's Douglas. Hi, Doug. You hungry? What does a robot do after a one-night stand? He nuts and bolts. Okay. A woman goes to HR to file a sexual harassment claim against her co-worker. Hank the HR guy asks what happened. She says, on Monday, he ran his fingers through my hair and said, Smells so good, he responds, Well, he sounds like a creep, but probably not bad enough to write up for sexual harassment, she says. You don't understand, Hank is a midget. A man with no arms and no legs sits at the beach pondering his lonely life. Three beautiful women walk by and the first woman taking pity on the man walks up and asks, have you ever been hugged before? No, says the man. So she hugs him and walks on. The second woman also taking pity on the man walks up and asks, have you ever been kissed before? No, a man replies sorrowfully. So she kisses him and walks on. The third woman also walks up to the man and asks him, have you ever been screwed before? No, says the man now with a tear in his eye. Well, that's what you're gonna be when the tide comes in.